Ladies, Power 99, Cappuccino out here at the Pin Relays. A lot of folks walking around, jogging around. They making me feel like I'm out of shape. I need to go ahead and put my kicks on and uh, put on my pants so I can jog around looking like athletes as well, man. Shouts out to everybody out here. A big, big crowd out here trying to see which teams are going to be top notch out here at Franklin Fields for the Pin Relays. As a professional, realizing that this meet is centered around us, it's a lot more intriguing for me because I get to put it on for the fans. We're standing with CEO of USA Track and Field, Max Siegel, and give me the overview from your perspective of how this U.S. team is shaping up just two months from the trials. Well, it's been a lot of preparation, really are proud of our high performance plan, and I think today, if it's a preview of what we're going to see in the Olympic Games, uh, they're in great shape. Women's 4 by 100 Tiana Madison moving up early. Here's Allison Felix down the back stretch, and she goes right by Perron Stewart, USA in the lead. Pass is looking good. Bianca Knight for the United States. Looking for Carmelita Jenner. USA! And another good pass, and here comes the world champion at 100 meters. Talk about daylight. The United States dominating the 4 by 100 Wow. <laughs> Trying to make track and field more popular in the U.S. Get more races here in the States, you know. Let our fans really see up close what we do. Get rivalries going, you know. I think it's healthy. The USA versus the world, great atmosphere, you know. Nothing can compete with it. The closer I get to you, the more you make me feel so brand new. Four by 100 meters. USA will have a very strong team in this first of two heats. Leading off for the United States, Ivory Williams running fairly evenly through the first 100 meters. And that's Sean Crawford for the USA trying to make a dent in this lead. Good pass to Trell Kimmins, and he's on the way on the inside. Ryan Bailey and the United States bringing it home by about six or seven meters. Welcome to the big league, baby. Welcome to the big league. Way to bust in the door. USA! 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 USA. Oh, USA. This is butter right here. Oh, it's okay. The main objective today, main objective today, get that stick in his hand, get that stick in Dick's hand. That's it. That's it. If this was a younger team, I would be more concerned. But because a lot of these guys have been on several teams together, uh, they kind of have a built-in continuity now. If the U.S. can get back on top, in the sprints, I think that put track and field back on the map where it needs to be. Fair start, Nesta Carter pulling up on Rogers, but Rogers of the United States holding his own. To the U.S. with a lead, and Gatlin is extending that lead down the back stretch. Now to Doc Patton, the United States now leading. Jamaica gonna have to make a big move on the inside. U.S. getting back on top, man. Walter Dix on the anchor leg. The United States pulling away. Complete dominance by the U.S.A. Wow! This is the women's sprint medley relay. And it is Portia Lucas on your screen of USA Blue, who is in the lead. And USA Blue hands off first. Down inside, Aileen Bailey from Jamaica making a move. Here comes USA Blue, Barbara Pierre. And listen to the Jamaican fans as Aileen Bailey puts Jamaica back into the front. So Jamaica leading with Malayne Walker. USA Blue, Phoebe Wright. And Jamaica with a huge lead now as we come down to the anchor legs. It was kind of nerve-wracking because it's so much going on. Right now it's Jamaica with a big lead, followed again by that strong team from Great Britain, USA Blue. Bessie seems like she's going to make a move, but not quite able yet. Great Britain in the front. Now, does Maggie Bessie have what it takes? You got to know that somebody's going to be coming, and you might get whooped. Bessie on the outside. Bessie making a move. About 100 meters to go, and here comes Maggie Bessie of the United States. Distance medley relay. USA Red, Russell Brown currently leading. Coming up next will be 400 meters. This is a straight up foot race as the 
U.S. is 1-2. USA Red, Michael Tinsley taking over. This is one of those early season runs where you kind of get the juices flowing. And Nick Simmons, the number one ranked half filer in the last four years in the United States. So Bernard Lagat holding on to that lead. Of course, it is an important year, so you definitely have to be on top of your game. Paul, this really couldn't be a better situation for Leo Manzano. He is one of the great hunters as a middle distance runner. The United States has never won this distance medley relay. And look at this. Look at the move by Ethiopia. Ethiopia on the outside. And finally, the crowd back into it. Ethiopia headed for home, and the hunter, Leo Manzano, has got the lead. Manzano with 40 meters to go. Here comes Legato. It is Josh Scott, easy to spot at six foot seven. Who has gotten that USA blue team off to the early lead. And now underway, Jamal Torrance for the United States. And right on cue, at 200 meters, he takes the lead. And look at this, Quinton Summers. Let's see if he can hold it for USA blue. And now Belgium battling for the lead. Borlay on the outside. States on the inside. This has set up what I think is going to be an excellent anchor leg. Mateo Mitchell running the anchor. Final 100 meters. And the United States will win it. We need to have more major meets in the U.S. It gives us, you know, as a relay with the USA versus the world, just something to look forward to. Here comes Angelo Taylor, a guy with a lot of experience, as they try to close now on this second leg. So now it's the Bahamas and the bright blue still in the lead. Batman gets the stick and immediately goes after Michael Matthew. And with that signature headband, Bershon Jackson in pursuit. What does LaShawn Merritt have left? And here comes Merritt. Merritt trying to go wide around Chris Brown. LaShawn Merritt of the United States. Olympic and world champion. And LaShawn Merritt posing over the finish line. Kicking off the season and a little, little taste for London. LaShawn Merritt will anchor for the United States until he no longer wants to. To continue to come here and have so much success in the 4x4, you know, it's fun. It's, it's, it's a great experience for me. I think because in this Olympic year, we will have a lot of uh, energy in the stadium. It's crazy. It's, sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's cold, but no matter what, everybody runs fast. And it's going to be very competitive after the first 400 meters. The United States with the lead. And this is Allison Felix who continues to extend this lead. We always joke around and say that we're the every four year sport. What a strong third leg by Natasha Hastings. We need to find a way to be more relevant in between those four years. Handing off to none other than Sonia Richards Ross. She's gone. Yeah, Sonia! What a phenomenal anchor leg. Sonia Richards Ross all herself around this Franklin field track. I guess the message that we're sending is that we want it. We want it this year. We're going to come prepared. And the guys look great. The women look awesome. So I think we're going to have some great matchups in London. Presented by Great 